Hello everyone, it's Red Herring. I hope you're having a great week so far. This video is an updated video of one of my older videos. So last week someone left a comment on one of my old videos asking which menstrual cup is my favorite. And if you know me, you know that I don't have just one favorite menstrual cup. I actually go with the top three that I reach for at any given time. The last time I shared my favorite cups with you was over a year ago. And over the year, I have tried and tested several more menstrual cups along the way. And um, so my favorites did change just a bit and I'm going to share those with you. So if you find anything helpful or interesting in this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. The links to all of these cups can be found in the description below as well as any discount codes that I might have at this time. Before I bring out my first favorite cup, I do want to mention that I am not uh, putting any order in these cups besides the order that I purchased them in. I don't necessarily have a top favorite cup or a second or a third. Uh, they all are my favorite. Um, they're all my favorite children um, and I, I just grab for them at different times during my period or you know different months so um, yeah I don't I don't have one specific one that I favor over the rest also um, in a couple of these I like the cup in both of the sizes that they're offered in since they're the same brand I'm not going to count them as two different cups my first favorite cup I think was on my other favorite cup video and that cup is the Eva cup and uh, this is the size 2 cup or the size large of this cup. I do also have the size small or size 1 but I don't favor it, favor it as much as I do um, the larger size. This is also the 2016 version. I did have the 2014 version. I still do. Um, but if you want to see the differences or uh, compare, see a comparison of the differences, I will leave the link to that video at the end of this video. With the 2016 version, they did change the silicone. It's a little bit more soft and gummy. And I don't mean that it's soft like in firmness. Um, it does have a, a soft body down here, but a thicker and more firm secondary rim here. But what I mean by soft and gummy is that it feels more pliable in my hand than the older version. I love the Eva cup because uh, my cervix is usually medium, high, and sometimes very high. Sometimes it's out of reach where I have to actually push uh, my hand in and bear down at the same time to reach my cervix and this cup has been uh, very comfortable for me. I don't experience any extra cramping and I've never leaked with it. My second favorite cup is the Super Jennies and I do have the small and the large here. I use both of them at different times during my period. The large Super Jenny has been really comfortable for me. At first I did have some problems trying to get it to open up but then I figured it out um, and now I don't have any problems except for when my cervix drops unusually low for for me and I just kind of fumble with getting it inserted and opened just because it's not a normal for me so I'm not you know used to having to uh, position it a certain way and that is when I like to change to the small just because it is just easy for me and uh, even though this small is a small uh, it still has good capacity for for a small sized cup. I really like the Super Jenny because of the capacity. I can use it for the whole day and not leak. In fact, I did mention in one of my older videos that I filled this cup up. It must have been to the rim, um, but when I was in the shower to take it out or, and empty it at the end of the night, I spilled a little bit and it was still above the air holes. So it must have been like to the very, very top. Um, and I hadn't leaked all day and I don't suggest wearing it that long uh, but I know that this one is going to hold me over all day if I can't get to the bathroom 
um, very soon to empty it. This small super jenny is comfortable to wear when I'm expecting my period or when I'm at the tail end of my period and I'm just spotting or have discharge. So this one is just really handy and comfortable and I grab for it quite often. My last favorite cup is new to my collection or new since this summer and it quickly rose to the top of uh, the list and ended up here on my top three favorite cups. And that cup is the Lolly Cup. It's from Slovenia and um, <clears throat> I was so excited to get them. They're a really unique design and they have three different sizes, a small, medium, large. And I have the medium and the large here. I also have the small, which is right here, this blue one. Um, but I don't favor the small as much as I do with the uh, medium and large. So the medium is really comfortable just at any time um, when I just have discharge or when I'm expecting my period or when I have my full blown period. Um, and it has this unique design. I did do a couple of videos on this cup if you're interested in that. I even talk about uh, my experience with it while having penetrative sex. It, it does have these channels in it so that it can be uh, folded smaller than, than a lot of the other menstrual cups. And it's just really comfortable. I think it would be great for both a low and high cervix because your cervix can actually sit in here without taking up all the capacity, uh, similar to the Super Jenny. Um, but it does have that secondary rim here. <clears throat> I guess I should bring it up a little closer. It does have a secondary rim here and it might help uh, get your cup to open a little bit easier. That's a water spot. Sorry. <laughs> um, so... I really do like this cup and it it is a pretty good capacity because it is that bell shape. Well, those are my three top favorite menstrual cups. And again, I like to use all of them at any given time. Um, just kind of depends on what I'm feeling, uh, how, where my cervix is, how heavy my flow is, if I'm just spotting or if I have discharge, um, if I'm going to have sex. Um, so let me know in the comments down below if you have more than one favorite menstrual cup and what is the um, deciding factor for you in when you end up changing to another menstrual cup. Until I see you next time, take care.